I want to remind you that if you leave a comment, I will get back to you. It may be a couple hours later, but uh, or the next day or two. But if you left a comment on yesterday's video, I did get back to each and every one of you. Uh, and thank you for doing that. So in this video, we've got Fremedies number four with our girl Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein. And uh, yeah, so if you'd like to see this one, keep out. Oh. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just sounds like something Trisha would do. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. And get into back and forth. Like, who's the prettiest one of all? If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Leave your uh, little comment below. Introduce yourself. Give this video a thumbs up and share. Share the video. And if you're a returning subscriber, let's get right into it. I don't know what that is or what that was or where the remote is. Where is the remote? Why am I not ready? I think mean, you've never looked better, to be honest. Like, you look so good. Like, I didn't want really? to be, like, over the top when it came in, because, like, I have a boyfriend here, but I was like, whoa. You were, you think so, if her boyfriend wasn't there, would she still be, she would be worse than this. Like, she's gushing all over Ethan throughout this whole video, because I've taken a quick scan of this video, and it's just really interesting that she feels comfortable enough to do that. Moses is there. And uh, apparently, you know, Ethan and, and Hila are going to be okay with it, too, because if they weren't okay, they would put a stop to it. I mean, think about your relationship with your significant other and something like this happens where you'll see Trisha, like, flirt with Ethan so much here. Um, wouldn't you say something or would this be okay with you? Would this be okay with you? It wouldn't be okay with me because as I was watching it, she's wearing like a... Um, like uh what like a i don't know what you call them a like a leotard like you'll see what she's wearing it's just it wouldn't be okay with me to to have someone flirt with my husband or my boyfriend the way she does in this that i'm attractive like this? yeah this is like no i'm not kidding this is like my ideal man like i like a mask what? but with like femininity to it you look a little more manny anyway because he's a little thick boy too and i think i feel like him more I think I look like a monster just because I shaved my face and I'm not used to seeing myself without a... Can I just say that when I first started watching this, I did not recognize Ethan. I mean, I was just like looking, saying, who is this? Who is this? My opinion is I agree with Trisha. I think he looks hot here, but I'm the kind of person that does like that androgynous look in men. But I mean, he looks so much better without his beard. He looks younger, healthier a lot healthier and I think he looks gorgeous so yeah I think Ethan should keep this look I do the beard uh hides my face and so I'm insecure without it but then with the makeup and everything and I think look how gorgeous wait so I just look like a big fat monster I disagree but I disagree no you're like, like you're like the traditional fat girl that has a pretty face like oh my god your face is so pretty like that is traditional fat girl with a pretty face that's what Trisha just said. Traditional fat girl with a pretty face. Huh. And I was just going to say, never mind. Never mind. Your face. Oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> fat girl with a pretty face. No, that's what you know. Every day in October, I dress up in a costume. I have costume plan for every single day. Every day. Yeah, I have every single day. She exaggerates. She does. Every single day in October. You should bring your best ones. But I didn't think you were enough, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just bring like more capsule ones, but I just wanted to preface that I'm coming and have so you're like, why is she dressed like a bunny today? So I was like prefacing that, and all of a sudden, you and Ela just went like full force, so I'm like, oh my god, we're going to get his hair and makeup, and I was like, wait, what the, like, I would have come this summer, I would have come as like Jeffree Star, so like, I could have come as like, you should have. She should have came as Jeffree Star? Oh, I think you're guys asking. Okay, whatever, I look great. We don't need to argue about the fact that I look great. <laughs> you do this like every day? Um, just like special days. Not every day. I do it special days. Like How often do you do this? She uh, says she's at your house twice a week. Twice a week. I was just going to say twice a week. That's a lot. Yeah, because I, I do only dance It takes like two hours. Oh my god, it's three hours sometimes with my hair. If your hair was like not your as much. Face. Okay, you guys. Wouldn't it be cool if each of us had our own personal 
um, you know, had the option for having our own personal glam crew come to your house and all you have to do is take a shower and that's it. You just take a shower and then they come and, you know, everything's going to be like 100% professional. Now, I don't know if Ethan was kidding or not, but he made a mention that all his makeup and I guess his whole, you know, to get his, himself styled or whatever for this podcast was over $1,000 for Glam Squad. I don't think so. I think we look identical, actually, which is so scary. I, mean, I feel like we're going to look the same. I like, do feel like I just look like a big, fat James Charles, though. Like, they nailed it. And unfortunately, I had a hairstyle. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've got a, a <gasps> thick, fresh face. Look at her. With the vanilla ice and everything here. It looks good. It and looks good. The, my only regret is that I cut my hair already because he could have done it like the perfect James Charles, like the poof. Yeah, I heard you wanted to like dye it. So cute, you Ethan. Like, no, you shouldn't have just gone, like full out and done it. I wanted to do it, but I don't no. have any hair. No, but he could have like added hair to it. Whatever. I love James Charles Loki. <laughs> like I feel like you're kind of like fond of him. <laughs> the way you were with me, remember you kind of like hated me, but then you're kind of like, oh, I'm kind of like fond of this person. No, I don't think so. I think he's just a douche, to be honest. I mean, After interacting with that. him. I don't feel like you're, I feel like you're, I feel that you're crazy, but I don't think you're a douche. No, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I think he has a bad heart. I think he's a douche. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he, I I don't know him well enough to say he has a bad heart, but like. He's pretty evil. That whole beauty community is evil. Like, talk to him. he's evil? Yeah. What do you know about him? You know, I've never met him. Just everybody I know (laughs) has like. See what I mean? She's calling James Charles. Trisha just called James Charles evil. And, you know, she's going to talk more. She's going to talk more about James Charleston. But she just said right now, I don't really know him. It's just what people have told me. You know, so you want to be careful when people, when you read stuff or when you hear someone say something about someone, you don't always want to take their word. I don't. I would never not like someone like Trisha just called him evil and all these things because of what people have told her. She's never had a personal experience with James Charles. So, I don't know. Horrific experiences with him. Like, mm-hmm. see? And I'm not trying to be that person and be like, oh, I know stuff. Like, I don't really know because I don't know, but just like things I've heard. I mean, I heard he's like actually like a horrible person. Just By the way, I have a lie detector because James Charles, he took a lie detector test and they asked if he ripped off Teddy Fresh. He said no, and the guy was like, "That's true." So, so he's get, so he's absolved. And I thought I would hook myself up to a lie detector. Like for example, let's say, um, <clears throat> why don't you go ahead and ask? And me I miss uh, I miss this about James Charles actually taking a lie detector test. He's going to show a little clip of it, but I actually miss that. Oh, I didn't even know. Teddy Fresh. Did James Charles rip off Teddy Fresh? Yes, that is true. Girl. See. Uh, so it's a conflict of the lie detector. Yeah, but he steals a lot of things. Like, you know, like the makeup look. I thought you were doing the white paint look because he stole it. So I was like, oh, he's doing like stolen look. So yeah, someone like he, but he has like a history of stealing things. So I'm like so confused as why people don't. Did he steal that white paint makeup look? I didn't know that, that James Charles stole that. Do you want to ask me a <laughs> yes or no question? Okay. Um, did you get damn hot? Oh, you guys, of all the questions in the world, she comes up with this one, and of course, she will, um, you know, be delusional about it, not hear the answer that she wants to hear. No. That's true. Oh, oh no. that's I'm hooked up. Fake. I'm hooked no, up. No, no. Ask, me so Ask me something else. Ask me something else. By the way, this shit is scientific, bro. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this lie detector. No, I'm not asking any more questions. How dare you? <laughs> this is this is top of the line shit. <laughs> Go ahead, liar. ask me one more question. Anything. Okay, um <clears throat> you oh, I don't know what to ask. Do you wanna have sex with me? <laughs> wow, really is just all about how much you really It'll really never end. <laughs> Uh, no. That's all she asks people. That is uh, true. Oh, you could have. This is that's, yeah. That's, that's a lie. Like, we know that's a lie. Like, whatever. No, I definitely don't want to fuck you. Trust you me. definitely do. Because you want to, like, I just feel like you either want to, like, be me or be in me. You know, like, one what? or two. <laughs> I feel. Be, I don't want to be either of those I think things. one or the other. Do you think that everybody wants to be you or be in Yeah, you? for sure. It's really? one or the other always. I think she just said, like, when he asked her that question, she just said, yeah, for sure, just to play along with it, just to, you know, because that's who she is. She just eggs that part of herself. Yeah, for sure. And that's not true. I don't think that's true, that she thinks everybody, 
but she would say something like this. Ugh. So Moses obviously wants to be in you. Mm, yeah, for sure, always. Well, yeah, and then she's got to put the always. Yeah, for sure, always. Remember the globals. Okay, here we go. Always and forever. Cannot imagine a world where people don't want to be you or be in you. It's not, there's not a world that exists like that. Like, I swear on my life, like, everybody wants to, like, be me or be in me, always. And you don't trust me when I say I have no desire to fuck you. Or be yeah, you. I know you're lying. See, and how can you do this? How can you do this when, you know what? I really actually have felt a little frightened in this video. Because in the, in this um, episode, I am seeing a little uh, change in um, body language. I'm seeing a, a look at, look at, look at the, the little eyes here. I, I'm it's things are starting to get really weird and um I, I see if I if I was Hila I don't know if she's it doesn't matter if Hila's in the room it doesn't matter who's in the room okay Trisha does not care you'll see her stand up you should see what she's wearing right so but but I'm getting a little scared though I don't like you know the temptation is what I don't like he's his own individual he makes his own decisions. Uh, would I think that he would ever cheat on Hila? I don't think so. I, I think that's the furthest thing from his mind. And, you know, you have Moses there too. But, you know, you don't know. Moses and Trisha. Uh, Trisha may be convincing Moses more into the swinging lifestyle. You know, we don't know. You look so pretty right now. It's insane. So, here, you want to do this? Uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, for sure. But can I just say one more thing about the lie detector guy? I've been hooked up to him. Like, check out, like, me on his videos. Like, I've been hooked up to him. And he literally will say, like, oh, I can give you whatever answer you want. Are yes. You, dude, I knew that yeah. guy was such a scammer. Obviously. He's in, like, everyone's videos. But he videos. straight up just says you can say whatever you want? Yeah. No, he says, oh, tell me what you want me to say. What? Yeah. Oh, That's for sure. So lame. Oh, and I got hooked up to it. He literally was like, "Oh, what do you like?" They're like, "No, no, no. Say yes to that. Say no to that." Like, and I'm like, "Okay." He's not like real. <laughs> that is disgusting. I, though, do people not know this? Because he's been in Shane's videos. He's well, been in Jason's videos. He's been in David's videos. He's like in everyone's like lie detector. I videos. think people just assume that he's trustworthy or something. But the thing <laughs> is, like, lie detectors are, are a pseudoscience. They're not even allowed in. You know. And you know, court. can can yeah. I just say that? that um the makeup artist did an excellent job i have to say they did an excellent job um on his on his makeup considering he had a beard and everything it's a total suicide it just it just good. measures your pulse and stuff we will both compete so what do we win how about whoever wins the other person has to sell them a thousand dollars so if i win today i sell you a thousand <laughs> for real yeah i totally will oh, i mean you'll definitely lose Oh my god, no, but will you actually sell me a thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, so. I will win. I will, I mean, you have no chance. Are you kidding me? I'm if you guys haven't seen this, I mean, it's a long, really long video. We're not going to play the whole thing here, obviously, but it's really interesting. I mean, there were so many questions there that I didn't even know, seriously. And then Trisha, she does surprise you. She does surprise. We'll see a couple. Think you're going to beat me? Yeah, a thousand percent. Like, that's a, that's a given. Like, See, and you think... You and if you know. lose, will you admit that, okay. like, not everybody... I'm not going to tell you if she wins or loses. No, okay. How can you not entertain the idea that there are dudes not attracted to I've you? I've never... Okay, yes. Not attracted like, to you. Everybody would want to fuck me, for sure. Why? Ooh, why would I want to fuck someone I'm not attracted to? I mean, I have all the time. Literally, people tell me, I'm like... Like, afterwards, after I stop me up with someone, they're like, you're gross, you're dummy, whatever. I'm like, alright, but you fucked me. So, like, everyone... Wow. So, someone... Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's something, huh? You know, you do that, and then someone goes, you're gross and you're fat. Can you imagine? Is that what's going on out there? That's just, and then they just leave, and then, I don't know, that's, that's weird. Not like. Come on. I can guarantee you Dan doesn't want to fuck you. Oh. It's like you say this to your, your yeah, you say this like to it. your little posse. Because I don't think everyone people. wants to fuck you. Hi, Mom. That's cute. Like, just because, That's like, cute. you've been, like, married for 12 years. I feel like you low-key wish that you could be single while you're famous and rich. Because I feel like you didn't get that out of your system, like, knowing that every girl wants to fuck you because you're famous and rich. Okay, okay, so here we go again. Here we go again with her famous, rich, and sex. That's, 
I don't know anyone else like her in my whole life. This is all she talks about. It would be fun to date, but like I'm not interested in that. Right. I'm very happily married. But I'm saying, yeah, it would be fun to see what it's he like. He has to keep yeah. telling her over and over. Been going for yeah. you. Because when I was dating, I was a fucking, I, had, I was broke, fat. No, you were skinny when you met Eli. I saw that. Yeah, I was skinnier. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, like, yeah, it would be fun to date. She just said when you met Eli. She, she, she just said you were skinny when you met Eli. Yeah, because I have something going for you. Yeah. But you would just meet a bunch of vapid fucking... Well, yeah, that's my point is you're missing out on seeing that everybody wants to fuck you when you have, like, something going I'm not, I'm not gonna... Wow, you're missing out. She just said, Trisha said, you're missing out on seeing what she meant is on experiencing how everyone wants to, you know, do you because you have a lot of money. You know what? Mm -mm. I don't want that. You saw it, babe. <laughs> All right, first question. I, uh, we'll start with Trisha. Okay. What is the plural of moose? Huh? Moose. That's correct. Thank you. Wow, look at this. Wait, say that one more time, sorry. What is Watch. the word? Oh. What is the term for a word that is similar in meaning to another word? Synonym. Correct. What type of words should be capitalized, Ethan? What words should be capitalized? Yeah. What type of words? Oh, pronouns. <laughs> Incorrect. Proper <laughs> nouns. Oh my God. Okay, so so far. It's See, she's, she's, she's doing We're moving on to the second good. Here. Okay. Uh, yeah, those first pairs are fucking <laughs> stacked. <laughs> okay, so that's great. Good. Um, yes. We can what, stop when what I take the causes lead. the tides? Well, you better know that. Uh, what causes the tides? You yeah. better know that. <laughs> the tides are caused by oh, platonic plates. <laughs> Love it. See, this is why I want to play this. <laughs> that's not a bad, you know, to be uh, honestly, that's not a bad answer that she gave. It's not a bad answer. It really isn't. You know, so so this elementary school stuff, Trisha's really good at the at second and third grade, fourth and fifth. She's doing really good. She's impressive. Iconic, please. <laughs> Have you heard of the moon? That is the correct right answer. Understand. The answer is the moon. The moon has the moon causes causes the ocean. You're just a fucking nerd, and that's why you want to play this. Look how smart I am. I mean, we have to be cute like Trisha. Not everyone wants to fuck me like Trisha. Well, I can like know the moon. And well, let's see, let's see how well Ethan does in this category. <laughs> Go ahead. He's so nerdy. Look my at him. Like, go ahead. Studies. That's what he you're does. You're actually getting mad. Yours be my cool. Look how competitive Ethan is. And now you're like. Yes. As soon as someone is competitive with Trisha and can have a little up, she's going to, you know, do a little. She's going to uh, stick you a little bit. She just said, oh, you have to be nerdy. You have, you know, it's like a um, childish mind at play. Look at Ethan. He's a fucking nerd and everyone wants <laughs> to fuck me. Nerd. Call me and fat. I dare like, you. No, because I'm so fat. I can't yeah, say that. Yeah, you want to call me fat, don't you? No, Go ahead, Dan. I read the comments that I was fatter than you, which is probably true now. I'm like pushing too, like, I feel like I'm So old. what, are we in competition to see who's She's the over best? 200. Can we get a sponsorship for a weight loss? That, you think I'm going to... You think that we're competing in the clothing? I kill thing. you guys in the clothing. I think that's what it is. Like, I just would, like, murder you guys in that. Why would she I'm say that? So you want my team to make But money. why would Trisha say that? You guys know her taste in clothes. You see the way she dresses. And, and her taste is not classy. It's not classy. So, I don't know. I love Teddy Fresh's merchandise. I love their clothes. I wish I could buy a lot of their clothes. I think their clothes is really cool. Competing brand. Man. A couple more questions in this category. Relax. I was on your head. What the hell? Oh my God. Really? You're a friend? Oh my God. She touched him and she said, oh my God, muscles. And, and look, he's getting a little like, huh? <laughs> gushing. He's gushing a little bit. Watch this. Watch this. Oops. You work out or no? No. Wow. Look at your press. Oh, it's because like you're on top. Because you have more weight oh. to hold yourself. Oh, really? Yeah. Right now that I'm not. Yeah, that's good, though. That's really good. All right, don't touch me. That's insane. Freak. Also, thank you so much for that sweatshirt I wear all the time. The last time you wore Oh, yeah. I literally wear that yeah. all the time. Yeah, I'm really happy you like it because I don't wear it, so. It's amazing. I never know if you hate or like me. Like, Look. Look at her eyes. Look at her eyes. Directly at, prob at probably herself or Moses. I mean, I, what do I know? But I think it's I think it's not at herself. I think it's at Moses because she catches herself sometimes going a little too far. 
touching him. See, in this episode, I shared with you a little earlier my concern about Ethan's um, feathers getting a little ruffled a little bit at Trisha and getting a little gushy and, you know, a little too... I don't like, you know, what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling a little bit, right? But um, she just pushes and pushes and pushes. And it's inappropriate. He's a married man, and we all know this. It's just inappropriate. Genuinely. I genuinely don't care like about you, go, you, but... Like, you go, I, like, you really convincing me that you hate me and you're going to leave, and then you go... Thank you for the jacket. I love that jacket so much. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I'm indifferent to you. Like, I don't think about you outside of this. Like, I think it's cool because, like, oh, you have, like, your own thing going and I have my own thing going, so it's cool we do, like, this yeah. collab thing. No, you got But I don't think about you outside of this ever. What? Oh, but, like, not a bad way. Like, I'm not like, oh, my God, I hate Ethan. It's that's more good. like, No, yeah. I'm glad you don't hate me. Mm-hmm. It's just indifferent. That's good. Like, I leave here and, like, don't I have positive you. feelings for you. I mean, you have feelings for me? Not, yeah. like, romantic. Like, wow. friendship. See? Song. Oh, come on. God, this, 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 look at her face. The, the, the way she milk, milks this is just nauseating. And you want to think, you want to figure out why would someone do this just to, for fame and, and, and money. And that's the way, that's their, their character. And it's just, I'm so happy that I'm never not, that I don't have to do this, that I would never do this anyways. I would never try to be someone that I'm not just to get money. Just, it's too hard, too much of an effort, too much to remember. It's just so hard not just to be yourself. You have something <laughs> wrong with your head because you think that any interest a guy shows in you, like there, there's such a thing as like friendship, right? Mm-hmm. Not every. All in male interest means they want to fuck you. I don't think there's a thing as like guy friends. Like if it wasn't a girlfriend, I'd be like, no. Like a friend that's a girl, no. Yeah, but we're not friends like that. But like I like you as a friend. It doesn't mean I want to fuck I you. I think you like like me as like someone to do a podcast with. I'm just saying. I can do both. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like like, like I like it's awkward afterwards. Like after we're done, it's so we not. Like, yeah, we like talk even before. You're just very like. We had a really nice conversation I thought together went out front of the house before you left. No, we didn't. What about what? We were talking about. I was looking at your yeah, car. Yeah, I was like, oh, I want this car. I was like, cool. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Let's just get on with it. Okay. You're annoying me now. Yeah. Wow. It's a, and they get annoying together. You know, together when they go back and forth. This is... Trisha has accomplished bringing Ethan down to her level. She, that's how manipulative Trisha is. She's accomplished this. Don't you... Did you see that little back and forth there like little children? It's, it's, you guys take this opportunity to vent your frustrations down below. I mean, we're going to do this. We're going to get through Trisha together. We're going to, you know, um, let out our frustrations and we've been doing it with kindness and respect. We're not, you know, saying mean or bad things to each other down in the comments. And I just, I just want to keep it that way. I want to keep it that way. I love what's happening so far. I love each and every one of you. I am done. We're going to just leave this right here. Let me know down below what you thought of this podcast, what you think of this format, what, what they did here. And I guess we look forward to another Halloween costume uh, from Trisha and Ethan next week. Tuesday, right? Is it on Tuesdays? I think it's on Tuesdays. So I think they were supposed to, I don't know if this came out yesterday or today. Anyways, I I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.